Hey guys, a very common question among newbies in the Fire Alarm Enthusiast community is how to connect a notification appliance to an initiating device without a Fire Alarm control panel. This can be done, but it does involve batteries. Most notification appliances turn off 12 or 24 volts, meaning you can get one or two 12 volt batteries. They're, they are seal, sealed lead acid, like the kind found in cars. Um, if you do use two batteries, they have to be connected together, but it will save energy because it's using less when there's 24 volts versus 12. You will also, it will also require wire. You need one long negative conductor and then two short positive conductors. The two short positive conductors, when put together, should be the same length as the negative conductor, ideally, but this is not required. Any wire will do, especially if there's just one if there's just one notification appliance. What you're wanting to get what you what you what you want to do is to get the negative conductor, attach it directly from the notification appliance in the negative terminal, and then send it directly to the battery. Now to get the pull station to activate the notification appliance, you need to cut the uh, positive conductor into two similar sized pieces. Then you're going to connect the positive wire, positive conductor from the strobe to the pull station, and the other piece will be from the pull station to the battery. Okay, now let's get into that. As far as the negative conductor goes, you're going to go ahead and install that. And you can have a pull station activating more than one notification appliance at one time. That's a little more complex than what we're doing right here. This is just for one. And my wire is falling out. So you're going to tighten the negative wire into the negative terminal. Let's see if it's labeled on here. Up here. Okay, you can't see that, but it, it tells you what each of these terminals are. Like, this is a negative one. It, also, if you get, it should come, unless you buy it used on eBay and it doesn't come with one, it should come with an instruction manual. These are the instruction manuals for my alarms. The little instruction pamphlet, it's usually a pamphlet on a manual. It will tell you um, how to wire this. So, yeah. And in this demonstration, the wire isn't really secured in there. I'm just trying to, I'm not going to actually connect it, I'm just trying to show you how to do it. And then we're going to connect our positive conductor. Alright, and here's the finished piece. So basically now you just connect this to the positive, you connect this red wire to the positive terminal of the battery. Sometimes there's a little red block there to indicate that for you. And you're going to connect the black wire to the negative terminal on the battery. So just to show you what happened, like I mentioned earlier, the negative wire is going directly to the um, notification appliance. Notification appliance attaches, appliance attaches to this base, this mounting plate. And then the positive wire from the battery goes to the pull station. Whenever this is not activated, it will not conduct the electricity from the pull station to the um, notification appliance whenever you pull it it will conduct the electricity through that very left terminal to the to the uh, positive terminal in the horn strobe and now activate the alarm okay now if you have a this is for a two wire notification appliance by the way if you have a four wire notification appliance it's going to look a little more complicated basically what's going to happen is you're just not going to use two of these unless you are um, expecting to connect another notification appliance to that one. So if you were to pull this, both of them would activate. So that's how that goes. On the back of the pull station, sometimes there is a black and red wire. Sometimes there's just two like wires of the same color. It really does not matter. Okay. Um, those colors are mostly there for um, installation and in a. Um, with a final control panel. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below.